My friend, you're a product of those people you hang out with. Think of yourself as a plant in a garden, and you are tremendously affected by the plants or the weeds that are in the garden with you. Hang out with hopeful and positive people, and you'll become one yourself. In Hebrews 10, verses 24 and 25, the Bible says, Let's see how inventive we can be in encouraging love and helping out, not avoiding worshiping together as some do, but spurring each other on. We urgently need people who encourage and inspire us to move toward God. And we need to do the same for them. Are you a hopeful, optimistic, encouraging type of person? Do you associate with like-minded people? Hope, like other human emotions, is contagious. When you associate with hope-filled friends, you're encouraged by their faith and optimism. But if we spend too much time in a company of naysayers and pessimists, our attitudes, like theirs, will tend to become cynical and negative. I often talk to people that attend our spiritual retreat cruises, and you know what they say, yes, the cruise was great and the ports were great, but really it was being with all these people that made the big difference in the cruise, and sometimes in life. As a child of God, you have every reason in the world to be hopeful. Share your hope with others. So today, look for reasons to celebrate. And while you're at it, look for people to join you in that celebration of God's blessings. As you share hope, you'll build hope in you and in others.